to go live to Peter Maritzburg, where the police minister, Becky Ele, is talking about a shootout today. Let's listen in. The, the provincial commissioner had to take further on the matters. Yeah. was a group of the boys that were known uh, all the time, including those that uh, had an escape from prison some few few days. Looks like that's a big boss who's among them here. Yeah. Uh, uh, what transpired, I think we have about seven dead bodies there. Uh, five boys who have been notorious and very, very brutal to the people out there. Uh, and two girls. Whether those girls were willingly there or taken, uh, the investigation and the, the people working on the scene will tell us what next. Uh, but clearly, uh, about five guns, including AK, and uh, a lot of new ammunition. I'm sure the police will find out where did they get that. Uh, the main main guy, looks like was injured about a week or two ago, when he was out in Beckville to assassinate somebody. So he was being treated medically. We'll have to see who was treating him and all that. But it looks like the work is not over. Uh, we'll be working on the, on, the, on the broader syndicate that has been terrorizing people. But people have been terrorized here. Uh, you know that the places that are staying over in the in country as a first murder, murder station. And uh, they are definitely responsible for that uh, sport. That this is escape. All right, uh, that was the police minister talking in Pat Peter Maritzburg uh, regarding uh, these seven suspects that were shot and killed during a police shootout in Scottsville in the area. Let's uh, listen in live once more. Member. Not just a member, he's a top guy. Uh, we are looking at his uh, profile. He's got a very long list of uh, warrants of arrest. He has been wanted for rapes, for murder, attempted murder, house robbery and everything. Looks like guys were living well. There is every kind of alcohol you can think of. Cognac, whiskey, everything that you think of. The biggest screens of TVs you ever mm. thought of. Uh, life seems to have been very soft. Mm. And those girls, were they, were they armed as well when the police had entered this property? You mean girls? The, the, two, the two women that were here? Well, we don't know. Uh, the investigators will tell us the profile, who they are and all that. But there are about uh, minus plus five firearms in the house, including the AK. What does this mean now for that other investigation with the remaining suspects that had escaped from that prison vehicle? Well, that uh, will have to proceed. Uh, that uh, the, in this kind of success is not the end, it's only the beginning. The people of my respect, uh, we have to really find peace uh, going forward. You can't just have a station all of a sudden is number one on murder and rape uh, as uh, places like has happened. Uh, we receive telephones, calls every day, every night to say we can't sleep here. So we, we, we believe that will be the beginning of peace that the people of this era will know peace. So you're convinced that with this particular incident that took place here, that should see some kind of change in the, as you said, what is now the murder capital of the country? As you say, it's some, but police will have to continue. Uh, it might be some of them, not all of them, uh, but we can't just end here and we say the job uh, is done. At the end of the day, the people of this place, especially uh, all those places that report to places like your Itindale, Wapata, uh, your, your Mbali and all that, they'll have to really find peace out of it. We believe this is the beginning. It cannot be the end. Okay. And just as a rep, Minister, I just want to ask you just to clarify. Those people that have been killed here, were those all of the occupants of that house? Yes, they, they were found in the house, all of them. Uh, is the, the house is, is leased. Uh, looks like they have been here plus minus a month. Uh, the house is lit. Surely we'll be working at the police to find out the owner and understand what is his understanding. There are three cars here. Uh, Park looks like two of them are either hijacked or stolen, uh, or almost all of them. So we'll be pursuing the, uh, the owners of the cars to find out what happened. But you, you could see that these were notorious and very, very brutal group of young men. Thank you very much, Minister. I appreciate your time. Thank you.
All right, uh, that was Police Minister Becky Ele talking live in Peter Maritzburg following that shootout today. Police arriving at this house uh, where they suspected people were hiding out and uh, an incredible shootout, seven shot and killed.